all so today we are going to discuss about how we can use any to determine if we want to set any language and how to use simulator profile to set the session variables properties right so we usually know that we don't get session variables like any uc id and all those things uh, when using simulator so what we can do is we can go to the uh, preferences inside of that orchestration designer and over here we have something called simulation profile okay so either you can create new okay or you can just click over here edit and you can set the calling number call number and other uh, runtime variables so like if you want to set the uh, what is that uh, UCID and all this thing right so for us since uh, we will do, what we will do is based on the calling number if it is a US number let's say plus one blah 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 whatever the number I can give over here so it's uh, based on US country code so I give it okay click apply and now what we will do is first determine the calling language okay so let's use the servlet and what we will do over here is we'll check for uh, let's say check any value okay uh, then that will go to the some data tag uh, so let's name it like set language lng uag and the last one will be we will play a prompt based on the language okay uh, so let's name it welcome prompt okay and then we will close the session okay so that is done so let's edit okay so what we want to do is we want to check the value of uh, what is that uh, any right so my session dot what is that uh, get uh, something field yeah field no get uh, what used to be variable field okay and since we know that uh, session is our complex variable so we will use that one i project variables dot session dot any and we need it in string right so let's create something called any value okay so this will give us the value of any uh, when user call to the, our ivr now uh, so let's say if any value dot contains you can use regex to identify region based uh, one but uh, we will check for only if it contains plus one okay so if start with plus one then we will have this otherwise we have something like this okay so now what we want to do is uh, set uh, maybe a hard-coded language okay so let's say okay so first we have to create a variable let's say uh lang lng language name okay something like that okay so let's come back to the code so my session dot get what is that variable field i projection value dot what was that lang name we have given and in this we will set the value as something called let's say e or eng okay similarly if it is not plus one then we will set it to 
Spanish or something like that. Let's say SPN. Okay. Now coming back, so that work is done. We will go back over here. Now what we will do is we will check what we will check if it is equal to what equal to lang something lang name equal to right constant eng and else okay so if it is english or eng so what we will do we will set current language as english okay now for other we need to set multi language right so right now my application is only english based so what i will do i will go to the properties of the project i will select the languages okay and i will click uh, and name it as spanish okay base language asr will be i think is there so i have uh, spanish language already added and for that how to get the localized bundle or the language bundle right so uh, i have something called so when i did a search something called avaya od language pack we get this one and we have around 31 languages if i open this one so if you scroll down so we have like australian english on this hindi italian korean russian and all these languages and you can download the jar you need a credential from avaya side to log in and download this jar file okay so i already have the spanish one uh, so i don't need to do anything so i will click uh, okay and i will click okay so you will see that i can you i have another spanish language now over here now uh, so if it is english coming back to our uh, set language one right so it is spanish okay now it does support text to speech uh, that is what we added okay now we will play a prompt so let's create a new prompt something called welcome i and i now uh this is spanish one has opened <coughs> excuse me so english to spanish okay. something like welcome to india read the manual read the manual tutorial okay so we got something called this one so here it is spanish uh, we will give the value as something like this okay now we will close this one and again we will try to open now we will select the english one and we will copy this one and this is text to speech we'll give the value as this one and all done save and save okay so what it's supposed to happen uh since we are using the default one if you remember right uh we changed to the default one with the value of us number okay uh so let me dial in welcome to india read the manual tutorial okay so it played the english prompt now we will go back to that preference again and click the number what we have so let's give something called 91 which is something called india number okay click okay okay apply and click okay now we should hear a uh, spanish prompt Bienvenido a India. Lee El Tutorial Manual. So if you see over here, uh, this is playing at a text as which is the Spanish one. Uh, language ENUS, why it is in 
can test okay so anyway uh so the, yeah so this is how we can use uh caller any to determine uh the welcome prompt we can set the language or we can do many more uh properties variable setting and also what we saw is in the application simulator profiles right you can set the values which are by default not set uh, like the any call id and also you can set the aai if you are checking for uh, call transfer from one application to another one and many others are there right so configuration variables are also there which you want to import or you want to have a specific values uh, usually for the reusable modules uh, so yeah this is the one uh, where i try to show how to set the any and how to use the any to determine or to play a particular prompt or to set the particular language hopefully you like the video thank you